This is the new Harrier EV. In particular, it is the empowered 75 kilowatt hour all wheel drive version and gets a range of 622 kilometers in a single charge. Today, we're going to be doing a informal range test along with a first impressions review. If you look at the exterior design, well, not much has changed. In terms of styling, you get a closed off grille, you get 19 inch aero style alloy wheels at the side. These also really catch the eye and it basically increase its road presence. You get EV badging on the side and EV badging at the back, which are your indication that this is not your regular Harrier. Inside, the name of the game is styling and features. In terms of interior design, you get dual tone interiors in the empowered, fearless and adventure models and you get an all black interior in the stealth versions. Overall, I think it's quite a good looking ambience. In terms of features, you get a 10 inch instrument cluster, 14 inch infotainment system, panoramic sunroof, electric rear view mirror, JBL sound system, off-road modes, ride modes, wireless charging and everything that you can think of. Now, if you have a family and you want to be chauffeured in and you're looking for a premium electric SUV on a relative budget, the Harrier works out quite well. You have decent amount of features. You get a post mode feature where you can move the seats in the front, two fast charging ports, sunshade, a panoramic sunroof, adjustable headrest, and along with the features, I think I do appreciate the space as well. So finally, ladies and gentlemen, we've started driving and well, I told you about design, I told you about features. Unfortunately, I do have some bad news. We have lost some range. Now, when we started, it was at 99% and the range it told me was 487. Well, we've dropped down to 76% and a range of 250 because we were running around trying to find places to do our pictures. Then we also did our acceleration runs and third, while the car was stationary, the motor was turned on so that we don't melt in our own sweat. Basically, take this as the worst case scenario in order to do a range test, but should give you an idea of how this performs. It's time for our second update and we've driven 82 kilometers since the start of the day. The motor has reached about 68%. The range shows about 222. Our final tally is that we've hit 100 kilometers. Our battery is at 63% and our range is at 207. So with all that, I think it's safe to assume a real world mileage of about 350 to 400 kilometers. And I think that's pretty good for a car of this size, this weight and this much performance. All in all, the car has also impressed us, not only with how fast and easy it is to drive, but also in terms of handling. So what do you guys think of the new Harrier EV? What do you think of the performance? What do you think of its styling?